the unexpected feeling of looking around the mountain and seeing a sheep uh, standing somewhere, it just jolts you right in your stomach. And if the sheep was gone, I'd have nowhere to go. I'd have nothing to look forward to. I would lose my feeling of being able to, to go to an area that I did most people could only dream about. This trip was a dream of mine since I was a little kid. I always wanted to explore the last frontier of Alaska and hunt the majestic doe sheep. The Wild Sheep Foundation is one of the most productive and efficient wildlife conservation organizations in this industry. We have hundreds of volunteers that spend thousands of man hours working for not only Wild Sheep Foundation, but for wild sheep and all wildlife. Water is the limiting factor. Wildlife needs water to survive. Once we get water, populations can increase, give more opportunity for people to observe wildlife and to see wildlife populations growing. Although they may never hunt a sheep and don't even plan to hunt a sheep, they're passionate about that resource. Costs can be tremendous, and the only way that these will work is to have volunteers. We couldn't do these projects without our volunteers. The project actually came together very well with the effort of a whole bunch of great people today. Hunting a sheep is a true challenge. People respect someone who is a good hunter, and I think it goes back for thousands of years. I grew up in the Hawaiian culture, which taught me many different aspects of living off the land. We want to wait until we get the sun up a little higher in the sky, get a steady wind, try to get above them, let an arrow fly. It's fun, it's exciting, I'm just living a dream. Hunting is a way of life for me. It is a way and a means to provide for my family. Woo, I like that. It's flat out tough hunting, but when you do end up glassing up a big ram, it's, you know, it feels like you're on top of the world. It's amazing. And how I got into it is being able to spend time with my dad and brother. And us being lucky enough to spend that time together in the mountains is, you know, something that I can't replace. And I can see it in my dad, you know. I can see the, the tears in his eyes when, when we killed our first sheep together. I could, and I know that that's something that, that I would have when I'm lucky enough to take my own son or daughter into the mountains with me, for sure. I, I think sheep are beautiful. I think they're absolutely fantastic to watch. There's nothing nicer than to wake up on a mountain so pristine and the top of it and know you got them. Hunting is not a man's world anymore. Sheep hunting used to be, but it, it's changing as well. I think as more women try sheep hunting, they'll find that they do enjoy it. According to early naturalist Ernest Thompson Seton, bighorn sheep in North America possibly numbered nearly 2 million around 1800. When Lewis and Clark made their expedition west, wild sheep were one of the most numerous big game animals that they encountered. Bighorn sheep in North America hit their all-time lows in the 1950s with about 25,000 wild sheep. We've increased those numbers threefold to over 80,000 bighorn sheep. It's a conservation success story that really has no peer. Wild sheep have had a comeback success, but we can do more. With today's reality of underfunded agencies and budget cuts, it's up to organizations like the Wild Sheep Foundation to step in to ensure that there's wild sheep on the mountain for generations to enjoy. So give today. Support the Wild Sheep Foundation. Join us in our efforts, and let's put and keep wild sheep on the mountain. Hunting has enriched my life, but I can't do it anymore. But I can always dream I can do it. 
Perhaps my great sheep hunting friend, Jack O'Connor, said it best. All sheep hunters are romantics who love high places and solitude. To them, the wild sheep embodies the mystery and magic of the mountains. The rocky canyons, the snowy peaks, the fragrant alpine meadows. The icy dancing rills fed by snowbank and glacier. The sweet, clean air of the high places. And the sense of being alone on top of the world with the eagles, the marmots, and the wild sheep themselves. The sheep hunter is willing to climb until his lungs are bursting, to walk until his legs are dead weary, to grow hungry and thirsty for great wars. There is no halfway. <laughs>